Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Uh, hopefully this is going to be a treat. This is Ethos, or Ethos, however you want to pronounce that, IPA. That is a, it is an India Pale Ale, and this comes from Tall Grass Brewing. Uh, they're out of uh, Manhattan, Kansas. I have had uh, a Tall Grass beer or two, uh, and I think I, and I have reviewed them, and... and I think I enjoyed them. I, I tell you guys, once you get <laughs> over 1,300 reviews, some of them run together, but I, I don't remember them being bad beers, so I'm expecting good things from this one. Uh, this is one that uh, Joey sent me. He sent me a package the other day, and uh, this was one of them that was in there, so uh, we're going to pop the cap on this one here shortly and get this one into the glass and see what it what it's about and see if it's worthy. i got a feeling it's going to be. Uh, this is a big 16 ounce can uh, too, so uh, they're giving you money's worth when, you, when you're buying one of these cans, not a little short can. So, Alright, let's get on with this one. Uh, commercial description on this one, the beer was known as Area 51 IPA during development. Ethos is our new West Coast style IPA double dry hop using sift six different hot varieties juicy citrusy and dank is what the commercial description is on this one, guys uh the uh, food pairings for this beer is your typical ipas cuisine is your curry and your thai food and your cheeses are your peppery monterey pepper jack uh, sharp blue cheddar uh your more pungent cheeses gorgonzola limburger and the meat is poultry fish shellfish and salmon and i will add grilled meat to that I love stuff off the grill with a nice IPA, so uh, it goes with your stronger dishes, guys. Uh, just about anything uh, that you want to drink, and I know a lot of people uh, at pizza. I mean, uh, if you like drinking IPAs uh, with just about anything, by golly, do it. You know, these are just suggestions because uh, the food pairings. Uh, you 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 want to have something that goes with the meal instead of overpowering the meal or or the meal overpowering the beer that you're drinking. So they try to you try to work those two together. I mean, if you're eating pasta and you're drinking a stout, that's kind of a, he a heavy beer for a, a light uh, a light dish that you're having there. So with that being said, but if you like pasta, you like spaghetti and a stout, by golly, do it and would float your boat, make your hair go back. By golly, I say do it. So. Uh, the glass bar for this one today is a pint glass, the Becker, the non tumbler, the mug, the Stein, side down. I've got the pint glass today, and it says not recommended for extended cellaring. Now, the ABV on this beer, guys, is, I think it's not that big. It's, uh, well, it's 6.8, so it's, it's decent. I mean, 6.8 percenter, uh, uh, you drink a couple of these, it's going to get you where you want to be, I'd say. So, let's pop the cap on this. And get it into the glass. Whoa, look at it spewing all over the place. It's wanting to come out of there. And this is going to pour a big head. Very well carbonated, don't you think? Slightly over carbonated. This has been in the fridge for a couple of days. So it, sh it has not been shook up. So... That's not good when it comes flowing out of the can like that that fast, but it is what it is. Evidently, the, uh, the postmaster must have shook it up a couple days ago before he put it on the porch. <laughs> well, I don't believe I'm going to be able to get it all in this glass. This is a 20-ounce glass, too. Almost looks like yogurt on the top of the glass there. So, And I don't have a paper towel, so 
let me stop the video and grab a paper towel and get this mess up in front of me before I have it all over me. I'll be right back. All right, got the paper towel and got that up a little bit, and that head's sticking around quite a bit. I mean, didn't get any on me, did I? Didn't think so. All right, let's get it over into the light. See what we got. It is, it is a nice amber-colored beer. I can see light through it, but I cannot see the bulb clearly. So it's got a slight haze to it. It's not cloudy, but it's got a slight, it could be a chill haze. It's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. And that head is sticking around, guys. I mean, it's not went down a whole lot since I poured it in there a minute or two ago. So, got great head retention. Very well carbonated, as you've seen it come out of the can. Hmm, let's get a nose on it. I'm getting citrusy, orangey, maybe a slight hint of grapefruit. Has a nice maltiness in there too. Not, not a big pine scent or anything, but very citrusy, orangey to me. And a slight hint of grapefruit, that's what I'm getting. Maltiness, grapefruit, orange. Kind of floral smelling. Well, let's give it a taste. Uh, I believe I can get some out of the glass. Uh, still got a little bit left in the can, so we might pour that in there in just a minute when I take it in and let her sip on it. Uh, it smells very, very nice in the glass. Uh, I like that citrusy smell that it's got. Oh, well, cheers, everybody. Cheers, Joy. Thank you, sir. Big maltiness to me. I mean, this has got a big maltiness to it. Orange, orange rind or orange peel. Citrusy, definitely malty. Definitely has a, a nice bitterness on the back end. The IBUs on this beer, wow, 110. So, definitely a bitter IPA. Definitely let you know you're drinking an IPA with the bitterness to this. It is very pleasant though. It is very tasty. Even though we've got a lot of citrusy, orangey grapefruit, it's not super sweet. They use six different hops uh, varieties in this. And they must have a big malt bill too to have that much maltiness in it too. And as the commercial description says, they called it dank. I can see that. It's uh, it's, it's not your typical piney West Coast style, for sure. Very interesting. I, I, I do like it. I do like this beer. Not your typical IPA to me. But it does have a strong bitterness on the back end. So let's let it warm up and I'll come back and... Uh, We'll do the final chug and grate on this and let the other half taste it and see what she thinks of it. And now that we've got the bottom of it in there, yeah, I think it looks like it was clouding up a little bit more, but it hasn't. Still got that slight haze to it. So uh, stick around. I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug and grate on this one, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. This is a pretty tasty beer. I mean, <laughs> slightly overcarbonated, as y'all seen. Uh, when I popped the top on the can, it come running out of the can. So... It left an awesome lacing on the glass. The other half liked it just as well as I did. I've been sipping on it probably about 30 minutes or so. Very, very tasty.
very nice IPA. Like I said, uh, I've had a couple of tall grass uh, brewing the beers and uh, not been disappointed with what they offer. So if I could get their beers here, you'd see more of them in the fridge. And Joy, thanks again for sending the, the beers to me, especially this one. This has been very tasty. He sent me several of them, so y'all going to be seeing. I uh, don't know if I'm going to do one of these tomorrow or what I'm going to do tomorrow, but uh, y'all have to stop in and see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Let's do the final chug. Orangey, citrusy, pineapple. -y. A nice bitterness on the back end for an IPA. It's uh, very, very nice, guys. Uh, the only thing, the only thing I can fuss about is the uh, slight overcarbonation come running out of the can. I don't like to see that happen when I pop the top on a can and it comes flowing out of the can like that. But it is what it is, and uh, I enjoyed it. It's it's very nice, guys. Uh, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. I think it's pretty. Pretty tasty. It's a uh, uh, definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on one of these. Uh, definitely an A beer. Definitely an, a well-made beer. Uh, and I, you know, like I said, the next time, uh, guys, if y'all had this problem with it flowing out of the can, give me some comments back on that. If if it's a uh, a common problem with this particular version of their beer, their IPA, their Ethos or Ethos, however you want to call it, E T H O S IPA. Uh, other than that, it was it was pretty damn awesome. Uh, I enjoyed it pretty 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 much. Uh, uh, Joey, once again, thanks again for sending this one. Uh, let's go see what everybody else has to think about this. Uh, let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate, and Beer Advocate says it's 90, which is in their outstanding range. I think that number is a tad low, but I mean, beer tastes are subjective, and and uh, what I may like, you may not like, and vice versa. So. Uh, uh, still being a 90, I consider that an A A grade, so I agree, it is an A grade beer. So definitely worth picking up if you're a hop head like I am. Over to uh, uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 97 overall and 96 in the style. If I was giving a numeric number, it would probably be somewhere in that area uh, between 96 and 98. Uh, so guys, uh, give me some comments back on this one. Uh, whether you liked it, didn't like it, hit the like button. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. And Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.